Hi, Duncan from 65 here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to invite a user to your Wix account so they can help you manage your DNS or your domain name. Now, this might be someone, for example, like us, where your website's on Wix, but you want some help managing your DNS record so you can get your email set up correctly. And the best way of doing this is inviting uh, us as the user so we can see your Wix site, we can see your domain settings, but we don't need to be able to make purchases. We don't need to be able to change other users. We don't really need to be there to, to change your website, right? So this video is gonna show you how to do that and how to um, make those settings and, and put that together, all right? So let's get stuck in. So I'm here on my dashboard and I wanna share one particular site with uh, 65. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna open up that website. So I'm gonna click select and edit site. And then from there, I'm gonna go down to settings on the bottom left-hand side. There it is. And then the next thing I'm going to do is click on and close the promotion because I don't need that. I'm gonna click on roles and permissions. Now this is gonna open up a window that shows the various users that are already on the site. And what I want to do is invite someone, okay? So what we're gonna do here is invite support at 65.com.au. I'm gonna click on add. And it pops that email in there. Now I don't want to give too much permissions in this particular scenario because all we need is for someone to be able to help us manage the domain and the DNS. And so what we're going to do is tick this one called Domain Manager. So we'll have a quick look and just see what that means. Uh, it means you can view and manage domains only. Nothing else, and that's fine. We don't need anything else to have that happen. Uh, obviously, as you can see, you can add different roles. You can mix and match those depending on the person. And again, this is the best way of doing it because then you don't have to share your password with somebody um, to get this done. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to click on send invite and you can say what this is for. So I'm going to say, well, it's for an agency that helps me and click on done. And that's going to now send that uh, email. It'll uh, show as pending. And then as soon as the user has actually uh, selected that, then it won't be pending anymore. Uh, obviously, if you need to remove that invite or you need to remove access, you click on the three over here and then you click on remove. So fairly straightforward and pretty easy to do. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Duncan from 65. And if you need any help with Google Workspace, domain names or WordPress hosting, please check out our website. Otherwise, like and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.